This is the two years old baby in China. He is playing table tennis with his uncle. Everyone says that he could be the next to scene for China with his penthouse grid. Comparison of shake hand versus pen hold. Shake hand grip proposes many advantages. The balance between forehand and backhand, power away from the table, no weakness at the two wide sides, aggressiveness to return the ball with the backhand flick over the table. Pen hold grip give you the advantage of service and third ball attack. There are some advantage of the pen hole that many players don't think about, such as the wrist flexibility close to the table, the ability to quickly change direction without making it obvious the way shake hand is. For example, the flick is very easy to see for shake hand, but you can make it much more deceptive for pen hold. Like this, Keep the beauty of panel style. I encourage coaches to not just give the shake hand pedal to every kid, but to choose some of the kids that are quickly to adapt to try pen hold. Shake hand grip versus pen hold grip. I have made a comparison between shake hand and pen hold. The pro of pen hold is deceptive serve and third ball attack. Forehand power 10. Forehand flexibility high. Very good forehand cover. Good forehand flick. 5. Backhand power. Weak backhand flexibility. Weak backhand cover. Good and deceptive backhand flick. Average backhand loop. No elbow weakness, very good service, very good third ball attack, bad quick rally counter attack, and quick footwork required. The pro of shake hand grip is balance between forehand and backhand, 9 forehand power, normal forehand flexibility, good forehand cover, average forehand flick, 8 backhand power. High backhand flexibility, good backhand cover, good backhand flick, good backhand loop, very weak elbow weakness, good service, good third ball attack, good quick rally and counter attack, and balanced footwork is required.